Hello, let me show you something in the N900 that I'm especially proud of. I'm talking about the Mighty Mimo browser that brings the full internet into your pocket. There are five, five very important things that are needed to bring the, bring the full internet into your pocket. Now, the number one of them is, is the ability to bring the latest web, te web technologies into the browser. And to accomplish that, we have used the, the Mozilla technologies, the open source way of working that they have, by using the Gecko browser, the same engine that is used also by Fennec and Firefox browsers. Second important thing about the full internet is the flash, full flash support. And for that we have been working together with the, with the guys Adobe, at Adobe to bring the, the full flash into the N900. Alright, so here you can see me playing des desktop tower defense. So as you can see here, the, the full flash the Flash 9.4 that we provide in the platform brings you excellent performance, all the features that you would see on the desktop PC. So the third important item in the full internet is the performance. And for me the performance means it's responsive, pages load fast, the frame rates are good. So let me open the, a web page. We are launching the browser and opening a web, web page over 3G cellular network. Say that's pretty fast. So the fourth piece of the puzzle is uh, the real estate. There has to be enough pixels in the screen to be able to show as much content as on, the de on a desktop device. We have 800 by 480 pixels and you can really see it. There is pretty much everything as, as on desktop. So the final piece is the interaction with the content. Sometimes there are content in, out there in the web that just cannot be used by just panning and clicking. And because of those, you have to have more advanced interaction methods. That's why we have done this hover and manipulation modes. I would like to show you now a couple of tips and tricks so that you are able to get even more out of the MIMO browser. So we optimized here the mobile um, experience, first of all for viewing the content and for consuming content. This means that you can smoothly pan the page via double tap, you can zoom in. Furthermore, via the gesture, you can steplessly find you in the zoom level in or out. So for switching to another web page, you can actually use the bookmark views or Really conveniently, just slide out the keyboard and type in a uh, URL, like youtube.com, press enter. Now here we are using a 3G connection. start playing, for instance, some, some music. So if you would like to go now back in your browsing history, you can actually simply swipe in from the right side towards the center of the screen. The recent history view is uh, opening. It displays really big thumbnails of the previously visited web page so that it is really easy to remember and know where you will go. So for instance, now I'm going back. Let's go back to the, the page here. So it's again loading over 3G. And I'm, I'm back on a previously visited web page. So while browsing, you find very often really useful information which you would like to share with your friends. So, so for instance, like here, certain address information or time. So for that, you can move in a cursor, you can lock it, and then simply select the wanted text. Press Control C. and then paste it into an email. 
by pressing the dashboard button here I enter the dashboard I see all my currently open browser windows actually quite similar as the Firefox tabs so now I can switch to another browser it opens here in, in full screen and let's try to make now a bookmark so I, I tap on the full screen button it brings back the UI Chrome I press here and now let's make a shortcut to the desktop now it's there so let's see how it actually looks like so I press the dashboard button tap on the on the background and here is the related web bookmark shortcut